All right, gonna go into that reactor behind the fact behind that one marine, and pretty sure we're gonna see a swap on here pretty quick, or maybe not. He's just gonna go into double marine production. It is a one 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 opener here. Uh, we are seeing two one one come back into play a little more lately. Uh, B Maru's been playing with that build. I saw Bunny do it. Uh, against, uh, who was it today? Who did Bunny play? I can't remember who Bunny played, but whoever Bunny played today. Uh, and TSL, he, uh, brought it out against them. The 2 one one a couple times. Why am I blanking on this? Looks like we're gonna see a Hellion drop here. One of the things I love about this map, it does have the underwater physics, so when things die, they do float to the top. Uh, simple things, it's the simple things in life that amuse me. I'm a simple man. I like simple things. What can I say? All right, how many links are, uh, oh, it is not a, it's gonna pick up the Marines and head out. Liberator behind this. Only six lings on the map. Six more coming on up. This will get scouted. Ling speed finishing up here. These Hellions are going to chase this Ling all the way back. It will get into the natural. And we are seeing our armory. So, it, oh my god. It's going to be a Hellbat push coming up here from Par uh, Bian. I don't know if he saw how many. Uh, he must know that there's more than uh, four Hellions on the map. Uh, that he is going up to seven Hellions. Liberator support for this bench, for this Hellbat push. Marines are here as well. This has the potential to do a lot of damage. There's 16 Lings on the map. There's no Bailing Nest. It's double evolution chamber coming down instead. Uh. No, he doesn't know about that armory. And here comes the push. Hellbats morph in. There we go. He now knows that Overlord going to go down. Supply block coming on in. Lynx are going to try to engage. Lynx can't quite engage. Good spread here. Just in case there's Banes. One Hellbat is going to... Nope. That Medivac going to keep it alive. Finally goes down here. Queen's now starting to go down. More Hellbats arriving. The Marines in the back providing a lot of DPS here. Hellbats are going to jump on top of these queens. More queens going down. More queens dead. More queens dead. And he's going to rotate around and just get off creep here. We'll lose one Hellbat as he's leaving. Let's take a look at how that went. He lost the Liberator. You know what? Despite losing five queens here, it didn't get a lot of damage done. That's a really weird place to take a lair. Um... I kind of like Rogue's position after all this. We do have a Ling run by coming in here. There's no third base. He'll scout. Third base is still being built. Going to rotate around. Won't be able to get into the main base. There is a full wall off. Plus one melee and plus one care pace starting up here for our circuit player. Bane Ling that's starting up as well. Plus one infantry upgrade. Stim about to finish up. Uh, Okay, going to come in here for another push. Going to pick up two of the Hellbats. I believe he's going to drop that into the main base. We'll scout this macro hatchery when it comes in. All right, sees that. Going to drop in here into the main mineral line. Got to be careful with that medevac. That medevac is starting to get a little low. Gonna drop into the main mineral line. No workers really going down there. Yeah, only 12 workers. Or sorry, 12 lings. Uh, Rogue. Handling this much better. You know what? I feel like if this was, you know, cured, this would have been game over by now. And I think it was partly because Rogue might have been throwing because he doesn't want to show his actual defenses on how to do this. And he knows Rogue can't, or Cure can't really see right now because Cure is playing against Trap and... Yeah. That, that, that's just... Uh, D Thank you, Hanette. It was DRG. Thank you for that. 
All right, Banes will come crashing. We'll pick up rest of those Marines and get on out of there. All right, looks like Cure won a game number one against Trap. Spoilers. Sorry, I probably should have said spoilers beforehand, but... It, it, like, uh, come on, most of you degenerates have two screens up and you're watching both. I know it. It's what I do. All right, we'll get a cancel there. Uh, he is going to go into mine production, so it's going to be uh, Marine Mine Medevac here. Bane's going to come crashing in. No micro there. Loses everything. Probably because he's dealing with this Ling run by here. Taking out two workers. Um, getting a cancel on a uh, fourth CC as well, it looks like. No, he got the kill. Just straight up kill on the fourth CC. Beyond. Not supposed to lose that, buddy. This Widow Mine does take out a clump. Seven Ling's going down to that Widow Mine. Stim gonna come forward. He's gonna stim forward here. Gonna scan. Gonna take out a bunch of uh, lings here. Gonna try to get on top of that one queen. Doesn't go after that queen. Instead, gonna zone out rest of this uh, Zerg army and take out this fourth base here. A um, lot of workers are gonna go down here. 12 workers going down. Gonna stim. Take out more uh, lings here. Gonna take out an overlook. Oh my god, these overlords are exposed here. Gonna Bane's gonna come crashing and we'll pick up and get on out of there. While that's going down, we do have another run by here. Bane's come crashing in, taking out 32 or 33 workers. This push here will get held by the queen. No more links. Rogue finding critical damage. Yes, he lost a base. Yes, he lost some workers. But 39 workers on the other side going down, knocking Bian down to 34 worker economy. Bian still has three bases. Rogue is now about to go up back up to a fourth base economy. Beautiful mine hit there, taking out a bunch of links. Gonna clean that up. Oh my god. I think Rogue just used this Overseer to get some friendly fire damage on that medevac. That medevac just barely surviving. Bio push coming down here on this fourth base location. Liberator's gonna siege up. Gonna try to get a friendly fire there. Does clean up a lot of that uh, bio units there. One queen going down. Second queen does go down to that Liberator. Eventually the Liberators will get cleaned up. Liberator does go down. This is turning into quite a scrappy game here. This is a rogue that I know and love. Oh, I don't know about that, actually. He does lose quite a few lings there to that one Widow Mine. He thought he could take it out in time. Didn't quite get it. Banes are going to come crashing in on top of the bio. Overseer taking another shot from the mine. Uh, reinforcements here will be enough to clean this up. And, oh, my God. More friendly fire. Rogue with the friendly fires on the medevac. Using those Widow Mines, all the Widow Mines do eventually get cleaned up here. Both these guys just beating the utter shit out of each other here. 232 links going down in that engage in that little span there. Alright, Beyond gonna come in here, gonna try to take out this base again. There are Banes here to reinforce, to support this base. Beyond opting not to go in. Instead, we have another Ling run by here. Is going to try. Nope. We'll jump on top of these bio forces here and we'll get on out. But does get this base quite low. The planetary does finish up here. Nine Banes now going to morph in. And it looks like Beyond is looking to push out again onto this fourth base location here. There are plenty of reinforcements here. That mine will uh, burrow. We'll get a decent connection there. But the medevacs are starting to get picked off here. But there's there's still quite a bit of bio left on the ground. We'll force Bian to get on out of there. 
losing three medevacs and 24 marines there. It's another 70. How many links have died this game? 379 links have gone down. All right, gonna stand forward here again onto creep. We'll take out a queen. Gonna focus down that base. Beautiful mine hit. Does take a quite a bit of friendly fire. Nice focus fire on the banes. Queen's hydras are gonna focus down the medevacs. The medevacs will have to pick up and get on out of there. This mine here will get cleaned up. What a scrappy game we got on our hands here for game number one. Another bio push coming in here. This will get cleaned up. That medevac getting really low there. It's going to juke and drive and just stay in the dark, uh, in the dead zone there. Another bio push coming in here. This will get scouted by this overlord. Two overlords. Oh my God. How many overlords have you lost this game? It's lost seven overlords. Eight overlords. Where's nine? Where's overlord number nine? He's just going to back out here. Plus three, plus three. Now starting about halfway. Another Ling run by here. Getting... Oh, nice. Cute. Burrow. <coughs> Will force a scan. Plus three attack finishing up here. Twelve Banes forming in middle of the map here. And we have another push coming down here on this fifth base location here for uh, Beyond. Sorry, for Rogue, I should say. Banes are going to come in here. Try to get some worker kills. Doesn't quite get it. Will be forced out. Widow Mine will help with that defense. Overlord Speed has finished up. So this Overlord should be able to get away here. While that's going down, we do have the actual push coming in here. Gonna stand forward. Banes have finished up. Banes are going to come crashing in. Good splits from Beyond. This will get pushed back here. Try to drag that Widow Mine. Doesn't quite get it here. Another Ling run by here on uh, Beyond side of the map. We'll catch a bunch of reinforcements. We'll take a nice friendly fire from the Widow Mines. Both these players just showing us an absolutely magnificent game here. All right, Beyond going to come in here again. Break down these rocks. Beyond now taking this top right, top left base here. Going to push in yet again. Bane's going to come crashing in. Will force a lift off here. And this will get pushed back. This base here will get scouted thanks to this uh, creep spreading overlord. But we do have the push coming into the third base location here. We'll get pushed back. Uh, Rogue deciding not to. Ghosts are now coming on out. How many ghosts do we have? We have four ghosts out. Two more ghosts. Two ghosts at a time being produced from beyond. But we, I don't think we have necessarily any Lurker Den is out. Hive is done. Lurker upgrades haven't started yet. Plus three range and plus three carapace starting up here. Just now for our Zerg player. 16 workers here going down. I'm not too sure. It looks like here 16 workers did go down. I like this. Will prevent that uh, base from landing yet again. This base here will get scouted by our Terran. And will force a response from beyond. A little indecisiveness. He does lose the base and does lose a few of those banelings. Uh, on the push in and pull back out. We'll clean this up. We'll take out a medevac as well as a ghost here. Beyond going to stem forward. We'll snipe a couple of those banelings. 
We'll take out those over uh, those uh, d- 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 what are those things called? Those oh my god, what are those things called? Changelings. That's the word. All right, little creep, creep, clearing coming in here from beyond. Links coming in from two different directions. A lot of Bane's involved. Bane's gonna come crashing in here. We'll take out a good chunk of the bio. Lurker's gonna engage. Uh, ghosts have to. Uh, ghosts will be needed here to clear this up. Gonna scan forward, see who's what's there. Gonna uh, lurkers will siege up here. Bane's getting decent, beautiful hits there on the bio. Look at all those bio bodies just floating to the sky, floating to the surface of the water. Snipe's gonna come in here. Thank you, Hanette. All right, another lurker run by coming here. Rogue absolutely loving these little lurker run bys here. Gonna siege up there. Gonna deny some of these gases from going on up. Forcing another uh, a scan there. Ghost will come in and clean that up. Six workers in total going down. Uh, getting to that stage in the game where work count is not as important. Beyond is down to 53 workers. Uh, but Rogue definitely does need these bases. Rogue doesn't have much of a bank. Neither does Beyond. Scan going to come down. Uh, ooh, good flank from Beyond here. Going to clean up all these uh, lurkers. GG gets called Beyond at taking game number one. Uh, spawning in the bottom right corner in the red. Sorry, blue Zerg pieces. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. Going. 12 pool. We have Rogue. Spawn in the top left corner in the red Terran pieces. In for Shopify Rebellions, we have Bian. Thanks, man. It's just Fork. Thank you very much for this tier one sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Um. Ooh, trap tying it up 1-1 one, one on the other side. All right. It is a double gas opener here from Rogue. So 12 pool into double gas. And it's just fork with the gift to sub. Thank you again for that gift to sub to Frosty Phoenix. And there it is. The Roach Warren coming on down. No, beyond. Didn't build anything. Went right into a reactor. It's going to build a low ground command center. Oh, no, beyond. This is not looking good for our Terran player here. One day, I swear to God, one day. I, you know, th that's going to be my goal for this for next week is to get sub emotes. All right, Beyond uh, fr probably freaking out. I'll be like, what the fuck's going on? Where's your natural? Sees the roaches pop, immediately cancels the natural. Uh, bunker going to come on the high ground. There we go. Bunker coming down. Factory being thrown down right away. Double Marines coming on out. We have Roach Ravager making its way across the map. We do have an overlord here for high ground vision. Uh, where are those Roach Ravagers? There they are making their way across the map. Uh Getting a secondary bunker in the background here. Trying to come out, seeing if he could uh, get rid of any overlords. We do have more overlords making their way across the map. Nope, decides not to. And it's just three roaches here. I, uh, Ravagers here, I believe. Okay, here we go. What's giving him? Oh, the overlord is here. That bunker does go down. Sorry, that supply depot does go down. Second supply depot is going to go down. First cycle is just on its way now. There we go. Bow's going to come down. We'll take that out. He's massively supply blocked here now. Still supply blocked. 
Bile's gonna come down to factory. The barracks is likely gonna go down, maybe? Nope. Mass repair on that barracks, keeping that barracks alive. Okay, Cyclone is out. Cyclone immediately gonna lock onto that Overlord. Does take uh, the uh, Ravagers do take out that uh, um, reactor there. Cyclone uh, lock on does get broken. It's got to be careful. Can't lose that Overlord. Doesn't have a second Overlord here. Uh, and he's just going to hold here. I think he's going to wait for his natural base to finish up. Uh, he's going to drone it up. Get ahead here. Yen is ahead on workers by seven. Nice pull back there on the uh, Ravager with the lock on. Tank coming on out. C second natural command center being built on the high ground factory. Uh, getting the starport behind this as well. And the barracks going to come back and rebuild the reactor. Uh, Rogue just going to head home here. He's done enough. He slowed down that economy. He's uh, created a bit of a reaction from beyond. Like all said and done. Not bad for Rogue. Natural base is up and running for Rogue here. Worker count is now even. Link speed about to finish up here. So even if... Uh, and Lair starting up here. Two base lair. I wonder if we're going to go into uh, a pretty quick spire here. And at the bird, thank you for stopping by. Have a good night. And uh, thank you for your kind words. I appreciate you stopping by. Right. Beyond's natural base has been established here. WJ2509, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the Soju crew. Great to have you here. Um, what are we seeing here? No third base just yet. Lair done. Roach speed coming on up. Still no third base coming down yet. sure what that was about all right looks like he is now going to take a third base behind all this that third base is actually going to come down after the terrence starts their third base overseer going to come in here for that pervy look to see what's going on like look at that it has so many it has eyes on its back it literally has eyes in the back of its head of course it sees everything. It actually kind of reminds me of Majora's Mask. Anyone else see that? Like the Overseer? Kind of the Majora's Mask vibe? I'm getting like major Majora's Mask vibes from this Overseer. Come on, face the other way. Face us so we can see your Majora's Mask face. Oh. There we go. Look at that. Does that? Uh, kind of. Kind of gives Majora's Mask vibes. If you get rid of this thing, like this part here, totally Majora's Mask. Legend of Zelda StarCraft 2 crossover confirmed. Ship it. Just continue to macro up here. Roach speed has finished up. Plus one care place. Plus one missiles coming on up. More roaches coming behind this. Uh, w one of the things that we actually pointed out in uh, King of Battles, and that was uh, Rogue is one of the few players, one of the few Zerg players out there that will go mass Roach Ravager against uh, Terran and do well with it.
Beyond gonna scan, sees what's going on, sees the third base is saturated, sees that there's Roach Ravager Queen here. Going up to, how many gas? Two, four. Going up to six gases here. Banshee's gonna come in here. Not only is there Spore Caller, there's also a Majora's Mask Overseer here. And this will drive the Banshees away. Banshees will get three worker kills, but not more, not less. Just three. Twa. Tre. Fiend. Another Majora's Mask Overseer coming on out here. All right, plus one care place, plus one missile about to finish up here. It looks like we're getting ready for a move out from our Zerg player. Gonna bust up some of these rocks here. There we go, bust up those rocks as well. Rocks are busted up. And Banshees will scout this in the middle of the map. Queens are going to come out here, join join, join these road Travagers for a little walk. Or maybe not, they're maybe they're just going to stay here. Alright, going to rotate around. Nice catch on the Cyclones here. Nope. Rogue? There you go. Rogue? Rogue? What are you doing? Kill it! Kill it! There we go. It is going to break down this wall of Supply Depots. Supply blocking, uh, supply blocking are tearing quite a bit here. And look at the creep spread up here, right up to this third base location. Nidus Worm coming on in. What is in the Nidus Worm? Bile's gonna come down here. We'll take out another uh, supply depot here. Nidus Worm has literally nothing here. Oh, he's gonna bounce back and forth between the natural between the third and the main base. I love this play from uh, Rogue. I think he tried to do this against Cure as well. But we do have a uh, we do have a bio push coming in here. This will force Rogue back to come deal with this. The Banshee eventually will get cleaned up. But that was just enough to prevent uh, uh, Rogue from being able to use that uh, Nidus Swarm properly. Hello there. Stay a while. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the Soju crew. <laughs> yeah, you know this Rogue guy? He's kind of washed up. Who does he think he is? What has he done lately? All right, Beyond gonna pick up and go. Oh, I like this. This wall of spores will prevent him from getting in there. Another Night Swarm coming in. There's only one Marine this time taking a shot at it. This might actually finish up here. This is gonna finish up here. There's nothing in here. Come on, Rogue, put something in there. Rogue, put something in there. Okay. This tank here. No man's land getting picked up for free. No. Oh my god. It survives with four hit points. One more. Okay, they're gonna get on out of there. Vikings will eventually come in and clean that up. Again, Rogue uh, splitting this map not uh, not diagonally in terms of you know like this. He's splitting it like this in the opposite direction. Something we don't see too often of. All right, another engagement coming in here. Uh, looks like it is R Roach Ravager Lurker Hydra Ling. Uh, quite an interesting combination here. Lurkers are gonna siege up here. Good concave here with the tanks. One tank going down. That uh, sensor tower also being targeted down. 
Glo uh, ghosts are coming down. Ghost Cloak coming down as well. Vipers are out. Parasitic Bombs coming down on one Medivac. One Medivac will go down. Other Medivac is really low. It's only four hit points. It's going to take one Hydra hit, and it is dead. That ghost getting picked off for free. Little bit of a mistake from beyond. We do have a small little bio force here. Gonna come in. We'll take out a queen and a, uh, a lot of creep turbo. We'll take out a few workers as well. This will force be a uh, rogue to come back uh, and deal with this. The night swarm will go down. Lurker's gonna see uh, siege up and work on that cleanup. All right, what do we have going on here? Another night swarm coming up here. You try to make sure B uh, Bien doesn't take this base. Another parasitic dump bomb, one on each medevac there. Just the sound of the night swarm strikes fear into the heart of the Terran Dominion. All right, we got ourselves a bit of a stalemate here. Vikings here will take out another Overlord. More barracks coming down here for Bian. It looks like Bian now wants to move up here, clean up the creep, maybe take this base location here. But we do have another engagement coming in here. Bile's gonna come down. Doesn't hit the tank. It doesn't hit the uh, sensor tower. Snipe's gonna come in here and we'll take out a bunch of. Uh, takes out at least one lurker. Let's see here. Let's see here. All right, other match. Looks like Trap is up two to one on match point against uh, Cure. And Rogue now taking this. So he's taking every base on his half. This is the only base really left. Looks like uh, Beyond wants to take it. I don't know if Rogue will let him. That is a base that Ro Beyond definitely needs. Spore Crawler Force coming up forward here. Spore Crawler Force will make it harder for our uh, Terran player to be able to uh, really push in with the ghost. Follow me, follow me. Snipe's going to come in here. We'll take out about eight lurkers going down there and a viper. Wagtick, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Nine ghosts did go down, but eight lurkers and a viper. That is... That's a heavy loss. All right, let's take a look at Rogue's camera here. What is Rogue up to? Field, Little engagement coming in here. Rogue going to get on top of this tank line in the back. will push this back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Larry, the loner swarm host. Larry, the loner swarm host. Just wants to just wants to kill things. But he's a mistake. What can he do? Queen's getting sniped. Mass snipes coming on in here. Snipes do get canceled. Lings will get on top of that. It looks like he was going to try to snipe some of those overseers. Uh, we'll get pushed back here. Spore force here will be forced back. Uh, Marine and uh, ghosts on the ground will force them back. Will force the siege up. Snipes coming in here. One uh, lurker going down. Oh my god, these Hydras being sniped here. One-shotted to 
death. These ghosts being so efficient here. Yoinks on two of the ghosts will get two kills, but still, that's a lot. Oh my god. These ghosts, like, again, once these ghosts get to a critical mass, it's so hard to kill them. Larry the so a loner uh, lurker here. Trying to get something done. 17 ghosts, 15 lurkers, and another uh, viper. Broodlords are on the map. I don't like broodlords against this. I really don't like broodlords with that. How many ghosts are on the map right now? 15 ghosts. And we're going into broodlords. Broodlords, oh my god. Beautiful focus coming down on top of the ghost. A uh, high. Uh, doesn't quite get the chain fungal there. Tank will get cleaned up. Broodlords are now showing themselves for the first time. Uh, it's got to be careful. Can't let. Uh, can't lose these uh, uh, infestors to weak tank fire. All right, fungal's coming down here. N another fungal. Is, are we going to get another chain fungal? Not quite here. EMP is coming down on one of the vipers. One viper does go down. Blinding clouds coming down. This will allow the uh, broodlords to uh, send in a wave. Another EMP coming down here. Those uh, infestors, no energy left. They're going to have to head back home. Juice up on something. Maybe some G Fuel. G Fuel, please sponsor me. I did a great job for you guys at uh king of battles you know let, let me let me do something for you guys for a brawlers club g fuel if you're listening g fuel g fuel g fuel g fuel i will drink g fuel at one in the morning even though it means it'll keep me up if it means a sponsorship from you guys g fuel um delirium clearly starting to set in with the caster here uh Yeah, a little bit of a standoff here. While this is going down, we do have another Ling run by Tanks in good position here. Will... Oh, the Lings will actually get on top of the Tanks here. And will clean this up. One Tank will go down. Second Tank going to go down. Third Tank. No, Rogue, come on, get the third Tank. Rogue, get the third Tank. Not like this, Rogue. Okay, we have the push coming down here. Beautiful Fungals here. Uh, Broodler is going to try to get on top. Will... Snipes will take out one Broodlord. Tries to come back in for another Fungal. Doesn't quite get it. Um, honestly, I, I just ordered a giant tub. Oh, my God. The other series is going 2-2. Two, two. Cure just tied it up. Uh, I just ordered two tubs. Uh, one tub I've never tried. It was the uh, some sort of fruit punch. But the flavor that I really liked was the Nemesis Tea. It's a new flavor. I think it's a... Uh, uh, it's a uh, special edition. Nice fungals again coming down on top of these ghosts. But these Thors, got to be careful with the Thors. The Thors are going to do a number on those Broodlords. The chain of fungals here doing a decent job on those ghosts. But those ghosts still survive. The ghosts are still alive. Lings are, uh, Broodlords are going to get on top of those Thors. That Ghost Academy is really vulnerable. Oh my god, we got the Neo Steel upgrade here. Uh, someone called Neo Steel Enthusiast. We do have a Fusion Core as well. Getting Enhanced Liberator range. We are getting into the true late game of uh, TVZ here. Another Fungal coming down. Another Fungal taking out another Ghost. How many Ghosts have gone down this engagement? 11 Ghosts going down here. Uh, the Broodlords are starting to go down here. Snipes coming down on the Broodlords. Tanks. On the high ground, uh, these oh, lurkers, uh, infestors, going down to liberator shots. Uh, rogues, uh, army supply just plummeting here. Each snipe, that number falls a little further, a little further down. Uh, more infestors, m corruptors coming out here. Getting that uh, boost upgrade for medivacs as well. Getting all the upgrades on the side of Terran. Look at that. All he needs is plus three vehicle armor. All right. Now, going to come in here for another engage. 
Infester is going to try to jump on top again. Maybe a fungal or two. Won't quite get there. A little too slow. Hydroling Bane starting up here on the side of Rogue. Uh, so, yeah, I was saying Nemesis T is my favorite. And I think Nemesis T because I literally just spent uh, some time in North Carolina and I had a shit ton of sweet tea. The shit was fucking amazing. Uh, Bane's going to come crashing in on top of some of these bio forces. Uh, Fungal's coming down on top of the uh, Thors. The Thors are going to get cleaned up here. Uh, but the ghost, the ghost snipe's going to come down take out. Oh, my God. Thor, the ghost just taking out a whole whack ton of those hydras. Let's take a look at this here. Eight infestors, four vipers. No, Larry the loner. Swarm host going down. Poor Larry. All right, Ling Bane gonna come crashing down here. Infest uh, Fungal gonna come on top of the ghosts, but the ghosts aren't going down. The ghosts aren't going down. The ghosts sniping the Banes before they can get to them. Lurker's getting sniped. Yes, nine workers went down. But we're at the stage in the game where workers don't really matter. Link's getting on top of these ghosts again. These these ghosts just sniping the lurkers, doing a number. Rogue has no bank. Rogue gonna come crashing in here again. Gonna take out a tank. Gonna take out a liberator. Maybe EMPs. Huge EMPs on all the infestors. All the infestors rendered useless right there with that EMP. That lurker does eventually go down here. Bane's gonna get sniped. GG gets called Beyond going up two to nothing. Oh, Beyond. What's this SCV doing out here? And what's this SCV doing? Now we saw Cure do something very similar last uh, series. Let's see what the uh, Reaper Goat can do. There's no gases just yet. This is going to be three Barracks Marines. So Augmented Raven, I agree with everything you're saying, but there's one huge caveat to throw into all of what you've just mentioned. Um... In two days, Trap will play Cure in GSL Super Tournament. And the winner of that will play the winner of Dark versus Rogue. So I almost feel like we didn't see the true potential for all three of those players. I feel like what we saw today were kind of throwaway builds. And the only person that truly may have been giving it their haul, may have been using the full variants of all their builds would have been beyond because the rogue that we saw against cure the rogue that we saw against uh uh trap was not the rogue that i know and love not the rogue that i think is going to win iem katavice all right rogue does have a good pull here gonna lose some drones here trying to get a surround does get a good surround on those uh marines but he's already lost five Six, seven, eight. Lings are out, but he did kill four Marines. Eight. That's not good. That's not good. All right. He's just going to head back home here. Going to continue to build Marines, send them back home to deal with any Ling run by. Uh, cancels the uh, bunker up here. It's just Fork. Thank you for very much for the 
sixth gifted sub of the night from you. I really appreciate that. Forty-seven nest cheer dex two hundred. Good luck on your plans. Forty-seven nest. Thank you very much for those two hundred biddies. I really appreciate it. Oh my god, we got a scam tra level four scam train, guys. Uh, you know, I, that is something I said. I, I, I said it that I don't, I won't say they intentionally threw games. I will maybe say they intentionally didn't bring out certain bills that they knew or did certain strategies that they knew would be able to hold. Now, whether that is considered throwing or not is up for argument. Um, I just don't like the implication of saying someone intentionally lost the game. Uh, especially considering the history of uh, the history of StarCraft and like actually having players throw games. Um, but you know, there's there's a criminal element involved there, so I, I I'm very cautious to throw out something like that. All right, these barracks gonna head back home. How many? Oh, Jesus Christ, twelve. 12 drones going down this game so far. Rogue still up on workers. Third base now being taken. But Triple Barracks is done. Third CC about halfway done here too. Trap beat cure. And that went to five games too on that series. God damn. So you're right. So there's a difference between throwing and fixing. Um, but in my experience, generally when the conversation for around that comes up, um, the two are almost used interchangeably, which is why... I, I'm very cautious to get into that our, into that whole conversation. Okay, it looks like uh, Rogue here wants to do a little bit of a bailing bust that will get scouted by the Hellion. All right, Bane's going to come crashing in here. What are the Bane's going to go for? What are the Bane's going to go for? They're going to go for the... Doesn't quite make it to the... Supply Depot wall. Ling's going to come uh, crashing into the natural here. A lot of workers here are going to go down. Beyond's natural base has been essentially given up. Twelve workers in total going down here. More bailings coming in. Another bailing bus coming on in here. Everyone from Inu's uh, channel, welcome, welcome. Inu, hope you had a good uh, stream. We have a bailing bus coming in here. This is game number three for Beyond versus Rogue. All three games of beautiful. Ah, uh, Bane. Hello? There we Oh, my God. Breaks on in here. Going to jump on top of these Marines. Just so you know, this game started off with a proxy three barracks Marine uh, against uh, Rogue. Rogue did manage to hold out, although did lose 12 Marines. I'm uh, sorry, 12 workers. Uh, Beyond here was just bailing busted twice. Did lose 12 workers uh, to that bane bust. We now have a double medevac drop coming the other way. Uh, there we go. You get on out of there. Uh, but anyway, I hope you had a really good... Uh, I hope you had a good stream. So we were just talking about how we may have not seen the best or the pro optimum builds and strategies from the players today because we have Trap versus Cure in GSL Super Tournament in a couple days, Rogue versus Dark, but r the winner of Rogue Dark will play the winner of Trap Cure. 
So there's a there might have been some mind games happening there. So th th that's just kind of where we were the conversations at. Level four hype train. Thank you very much, everyone. I really appreciate. It. I feel the love. You guys are amazing. All right, these Marines are going to come in here, take out some of those links. And are we going to see another late game uh, PVZ here? Another push out coming from beyond. Uh, this has only one tank uh, and his backbone. Let's take a look here. Choo choo, one stop to Scamville. All right, here we come. Push coming in. Tanks are going to siege up a little far back, going to clear up some creep. Get those tanks a little cl closer so you don't get the full wraparound with the Bane Lings. Banes and Lings, I should say. Tanks going to come in, siege up a little closer here, going to leapfrog forward. Nice spread on the tanks. Marines also being pre-split. Uh, Rogue going to come crashing in. We'll take out one tank. Second tank going to get taken out. Third tank will get jumped on and taken out. But there's not a lot of Ling Bane left. There's still quite a bit of bio left here, but a lot, a lot of Ling Bane. Ling Bane going to come crashing back in here. Ling speed hasn't finished up here. Creep isn't... The creep didn't receive it quite a bit, so it's going to be really hard for those Bane Lings to jump on top of these Marines. Reinforcement Liberators coming in. Beyond... Looking to finish it up here. Looking to close things off right here, right now. Gonna siege up. With those liberators. Gonna jump forward. Rogue. Gonna try to get us around here. Will force a pickoff. One liberator going down. One queen finally going down here. Second queen will go down, but this will get cleaned up. Rogue with the hold. Beyond looking to expand towards the uh, Zerg player. Uh, is he... How many is he going up to here? He's got three. He's getting two more. So he's going up to five barracks. I'm wondering if we're going to see him drop three more and just do non-stop uh, like eight barracks uh, marine uh, parade across the map here. Just constant pressure. He is making six Marines at a time, making one tank at a time, two Liberators. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of pressure coming here from beyond, especially taking this base location. We do have a bit of a push here. That gold base will get taken. Tank is going to siege up and is going to deny this gold base for a little bit. Rogue can't afford to trickle in his uh, links uh, like he currently is. This base will... He needs to cancel this base. While that's going down, we do have a massive Ling Bane run by another Bane bus coming in here. Getting a lot of reinforcement. Three workers going down here. Oh my god, all the bio has been cleaned up. GG gets called Rogue. All right, spawning in the bottom left corner of Glittering Ashes. Ashes, not anything else. Ashes. I think he's going for a 12 pool. Playing for Dragon Phoenix Gaming, we have Rogue. Top right corner spawning in the red Terran pieces for the great Canadian team Shopify Rebellions with a lot of SCVs on the map already. We have Bian. So we are seeing a 12 pool versus a proxy three barracks here. Oh my god. Oh, guys, this is going to be a treat. No gases. It's going to be proxy three barracks marine. This is exactly how the last game started on Beyond side. Um, this is going to be roaches from Rogue. Voucher Harna, Pile Triple Zero. Zek from StarCraft. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Roach Warren coming on down. All right. It'll be interesting to see the reactions from these players. I wish we had player cams right now when they realize what's going on. We do have 
Proxy 3 Barracks Marines coming on out. Did I not do? Oh, of course I didn't do Game Heart. I got so excited that we're going to game number four. All right, three roaches coming on out. First Marine is out. This Overlord will... No, he's going to pull it back. He's going to pull it back. He's gonna, there, Rogue sees it. Rogue sees the Marine, sees the SCV. He knows what's up. He knows what's going down. Sees the uh, uh, bunker coming down as well. We'll lose one. Uh, we'll lose one Overlord here. But the Roaches are already out. Ravagers are already out. This isn't going to go up. Beyond is scrambling to head back. Beyond dropping down gases. Look, links are in the base. There's links in the base. Rogue trying desperately to bring it to game number five. Beyond bringing those uh, Marines back home. Running those little, uh, unstimmed Marines as fast as he can back home. Ravager is going to show up here. We'll take out one Marine. Bunker is about to finish up. There is already an Overlord here to provide high ground vision. Biles are going to start coming on down here. He's got to be careful. Can't get uh, can't get too close here. He's only on one gas. Doesn't have enough gas for a factory just yet. Biles going to come down here. Biles going to come down here. That supply depot going to go down. Biles going to come down here. Repair not in time. Worker's going to get pulled into the fight here. Weakened Ravagers being pulled back to the, uh, pulled back. All the Marines are dead. All the Marines are dead. No, more Marines showing up from reinforcement showing up. Okay, this will get hold. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Beyond. 